students of Reddit. What's the story of the worst teacher you've ever had? Had a science teacher that insisted that cells were not made of atoms, and that therefore either leaves weren't alive or diamonds were. I had a math teacher who would leave the class to ask another teacher how to do certain math problems. Sometimes he'd be gone as long as 30 minutes during a 50 minute class period. It suffice to say no one in that class learned much. If it makes you feel any better, the teacher probably was given the class against his wishes. Math classes are often very hard to fill, particularly since they are a challenging set of skill for not much pay, compared to other opportunities. As such, schools sometimes ask unqualified people to teach a math class because they need someone. My English lit professor was late to class every day. She was clearly on drugs. On top of that she didn't shower. Her hair was matted, and she was so rude. She gave us homework and never took it up or graded it and then would show up and say it's test day with no warning. I had to drop that class after I failed the first test. I believe most of the class dropped after that exam and she didn't come back the next semester. I mean, if she was on drugs, then clearly that English class was pretty lit. One time while taking an exam in my calculus LL class, I got a random bloody nose that dripped right onto the test. After explaining what happened, she said if I leave the room to go clean up I wouldn't be able to retake. My options were to grab another test and start over halfway through, without being able to copy my previous answers, or leave and fail the exam. I walked out of the classroom and withdrew before I got to my car. Should have bled all over the test and handed it in. I am not sure this qualifies. I like reading from an early age and was excited to learn literature in junior high. I had a teacher who just completed her postgrad diploma and for an entire year in literature class she would just flip pages and say things such as turn to page 88, highlight paragraph 3, that's gonna be tested. One day she had to make up a class on Saturday and started telling us how much she hated her job and she couldn't go get wasted on Friday night because she had to show up on a Saturday morning and teach a bunch of stinking kids. She then proceeded to ask us to turn to some page and yell just highlight everything. The entire page will be tested. She got fired because she got caught having sex with the IT instructor in the computer lab. Oh it qualifies all right. My Welsh professor. She assigned textbooks that were out of print. Couldn't explain anything for crap. Responded to questions by repeating herself. And her syllabus was just header info and a single line that said, The purpose of this class is to learn Welsh. Second grade. Had a cool girl named Deja in my class. Our class made a joke where we'd say Deja and then VOOOO in a loud and deep voice. Teacher was super ticked and took Deja's bag, the rectangular ones with the two metal bars on the back, and slammed it against her back. I heard the most blood curdling scream of all time and the whole class fell silent. IDK what happened to the teacher since this was near the end of the year and I moved away after school ended, for unrelated purposes. This was a gym teacher. The other kids would often bully me and sometimes beat me up. She would only intervene if I fought back and that was to punish me and me alone. I went to the guidance counselor one time after getting kicked out and told him what happened. He called her and she said that I was attacking them and they did nothing. Since she was the teacher and I was the student, you can guess who the guidance counselor believed. That's fricked up. A teacher once told me that sand was a liquid, because you could pour it. I then raised my hand and told her that if you had a big enough container, you could pour bowling balls. The class laughed, and about 10 minutes later I sneezed. She thought I said BS, and sent me to the principal's office. Comma the class laughed, and about 10 minutes later I sneezed. She thought I said BS, and sent me to the principal's office. I'm sorry, that's the funniest crap I've read in days. Oh, let's see. This teacher threw a chair at a student, nearly threw a desk at a student, threw his keys at a student, threw chalk at students. Hard, didn't believe that I could read chapter books. In grade 5, as a 10 year old, we were learning about pH values and tested bleach. It came out as a base because it is a base. He was surprised and told us it must have changed from being an acid because it had been sitting on the shelf for so long. Made a kid do detention in the hall with a sign that said future squeegee kid. He was all round a pretty poor teacher with a terrible temper. Maybe he would have done better in high school when classroom management is a little easier. Middle school? Not so much. 
I've posted about this before, but I had a teacher that when I got the only 100 on the test, she let me play with blocks. I let out a small yes and got the timeout chair instead, and a note home. This was 3rd grade BTW. The worst teacher I ever had was my shop teacher gym teacher in high school. He would not do anything at all. I was able to smoke in shop class and in gym class as long as it was outside running laps or something. I never once heard him tell anyone about safety measures when using shop equipment. A few people got hurt and one actually lost half a thumb but the worst thing he ever did was hire some of the grade 9 and grade 10 girls to babysit for him and his wife. He would leave his wife at the bar and go home to check on the kids and was eventually caught screwing a 15 yo girl. After a police investigation they found a ton of homemade pee on his laptop of him having sex with many young girls. Last I heard he went to jail for life. This was all in a town of less than 300 people. In 5th grade I had a teacher who disliked me because I was bullied a lot and she had to take off it and talk to my parents a lot. One day I was playing kickball and got borderline assaulted by some kids and she saw, came over, then let them go inside. She looked at her dirt covered me and said, don't go telling your dad about this. Next day dad went into school and had a very long talk with this teacher and the principal. I'm pretty sure she was hoping the school year would end sooner. In 6th grade my teacher wanted to be liked by the class so he bullied and embarrassed me along with the rest of the cool kids. Gotta love those teachers who are trying to relive their glory days of high school smh. I had a computer science teacher who didn't really even teach the class. First day of school he stood up and said, I'm going to be honest with you guys, we're going to be learning this material together he then pushed his all onto online code camps. The beginning of every class he also spent the first 20 minutes going over anything under the sun except for programming. If your phone went off at any point during the class he said that you had to buy the entire class donuts, but he was exempt from the rule. My programming teacher had a similar teaching strategy. The first day he said, you guys will just be learning on coders and I'll just monitor you, and he proceeded to play the Winnie the Pooh baseball video game every class. Even promising kids A's if they could beat it on the hardest difficulty as the rest of us struggled to actually program. Some crazy substitute we had for geography hit the computer monitor to the floor because of a fly. It landed beside me and I nudged it off with my paper. My elbow knocked the dictionary off the table and I was, and I quote, isolated from class for throwing a dictionary across the room. I was pee off. When I was in kindergarten, my first teacher, she got pregnant so she had to take maternity leave. Then she got replaced with a substitute teacher to teach my class for the rest of the school year. She was very strict and she was not very nice. I had issues with her, but I was a very good student, quiet and to myself. One day I asked her that I had to use the bathroom but she refused to let me go. I really had to go but ended up peeing on myself. I remember going to the nurse and then they called my mom. My mom went up to the school and had a meeting with the teacher, the principal and someone else. Two days later that teacher was fired. I remember my 4th grade teacher, Mrs. DJO, being super strict. She was pregnant and also took maternity leave. The substitute was the nicest teacher ever, and she was appalled that Mrs. DJO had never read a single book to us. An English teacher I had in high school asked the class to spend half of the class in the library, finding a love poem. I chose Sonnet 130 by Shakespeare. It's not a standard love poem. It says nothing nice about the lady until the very end. She failed me on the project. The very next project was to choose a poem that described our general feelings around that time. I chose a poem from the existentialists. I don't recall exactly which one, but it was about suicide. Again, I failed the project. I'll never forget her response after I read it aloud. Why would you choose something so awful and sad a girl in the class said, maybe that's how he feels she sent me to the principal's office for punishment. By the end of that year, I was in a mental hospital for attempted suicide. I was there for 3 months. My second grade teacher was Sister Bridget. She didn't like me at all. One day I was feeling ill, and I asked to use the restroom. She told me I was lying. As she tried to tell me why I was a liar, I vomited all over her shoes. LOL. Okay, maybe not the worst teacher, but definitely the strangest. Mr. Pratt. He was a substitute teacher I had in high school in the 90s. 
in a city school. He was an older black dude with a loud mouth. There were a lot of butthole students though, who always mouthed back to every teacher which made learning difficult. Mr. Pratt had an odd choice when responding to these kids. Imagine a well-dressed, but definitely ghetto sounding substitute who when a student tried to act out, would pull a freaking puppet, obviously custom made and looked just like him, suits and all out of his desk. He would then start berating the student via the puppet. The puppet was called Pratt Daddy by the way, he would make the student talk to the puppet, and apologize. Most didn't, they were laughing and tried to talk over Pratt Daddy, in which case Pratt Daddy, the puppet, would kick them out of the class and lock the door. Then the puppet went back into the desk drawer, and Mr. Pratt continued. It was odd. Sounds like Mr. Garrison. 4th grade teacher who led the after school dance program at my elementary school. She was known for her explosive temper and playing favorites. Her favorites were a group of girls who considered themselves popular. Being invited to their pool parties meant that you were cool. This teacher used to invite these girls for sleepovers at her house. Well this teacher hated me and I desperately wanted to feel accepted. So one day she was testing the class on the 9 times tables and the way that the test was set up was that we would have to recite it. Some kids were allowed to be tested in private. I fumbled for whatever reason and started speaking in a low voice out of embarrassment that I was fumbling. I remember her just screaming at me why I don't get anything she teaches. I wasn't allowed to sit back in my seat until she was done screaming. I remember shaking how scared and humiliated I was, mixed with anger and embarrassment. I snapped my reading glasses in half. A couple of days pass and parents ask me why I'm not wearing my glasses until I burst into tears over what happened. All I know was that mom scheduled a beating and well that teacher didn't bother me for the rest of elementary school lol. Frick you miss. N. You're a B and do not belong around children. Comma this teacher used to invite these girls for sleepovers at her house. What the frick. I was part of a two year program in grade 9 in which I took a few classes together in sequence and did the project at the end of each year. It was near the end of the year and the project was underway. We were made up of groups from years 1 and 2 of the program. So freshmen and sophomores working together. I was sick for a week and went to the teacher. Let's call her Ms. Module of the year 2 students for information about what I missed because she was in charge of the project. She told me it was on her teacher page and I thanked her and left. The next day I get a bunch of texts from sophomores and juniors that Ms. Module had complained about me by name saying I wasn't afraid of her and was a disrespectful student for not checking the website first and asking her before school. She really hurt my feelings and hurt the way my peers view me as a person. She then did it again the next year. This time telling a class of sophomores about how I was terrible at presenting and got a poor grade. Something which was false. I got a 92. I then noticed she set the Google Classroom we use for handing things and to automatically share every document we produced in class along with our scores on those works with a woman in Arkansas. I'm in NY. Named Jody. I asked her about it and she told me to tell nobody. I asked my friend if he saw it and she overheard me. She threatened to send me to a week of detention if I told anyone else, because she was obviously violating FERPA, NYZ policy, and our district's policy. The next week I took my midterm and failed. 63%, lowest out of 60 students in her class. I've never gotten less than a 94 on midterms finals any English test. I asked to see it, she just gave me an old regents test which any English teacher could grade, because I wanted a second opinion. Apparently she throws them out after grading. Sorry that was long, I just wanted to say something. I would have filed all sorts of official complaints. Even kids should be educated about what they must do to protect their rights. My form tutor for year 9, also the art teacher. She refused to take action when somebody created a snapchat account under my name and sent nude images to dozens of people around my school. Shortly after this I got in a fight cause a guy was still pee about the snapchat situation and punched me in the jaw when I had a retainer. 
From this she decided to secretly send loads of emails to my mother suggesting that I more than likely have autism. I have since been basically forced into getting checked up about it. Only for the doctors to confirm I don't have enough symptoms for a diagnosis. Because I criticized this teacher a lot due to this she treated me really poorly in art lessons and did very little to get involved with me when I reported or got witnesses being bullied. Wow that's fricked up. As someone with retainers. Frick that tutor and frick that guy. First grade I had some some trouble keeping up with other students on writing based assignments. My teacher's way of making sure I got my work done was to withhold my lunch and any food whatsoever until I finished all my work. Even if it meant I left school late. Parents got pretty pee when they found out. When I was in the first grade, there was an infamous substitute teacher in my school Reagan. Mr. Hunter. He was called. His name was hissed under breaths and passed on from student to student between schools. Heavens help you if you got this grizzled, hunched old walnut that was occasionally pulled out of retirement to bestow his tyranny upon innocent children. But I was young. Foolish. I didn't believe the stories my siblings told me. And so, being the cutesy teacher's pet I was, I put on my brightest smile the moment he walked into my first grade classroom and chimed. Good morning, Mr. Hunter with the rest of the class. Humph, he said. Or something like that. A displeased, non-committal noise. It only went worse from there. A quick side note, I have a name that is one of those names that can be pronounced different ways. Let's say my name was Kira, and pronounced Kiera instead of Kira. I'm used to getting it spoken wrong by substitute teachers at this point, so I have no problem politely correcting teachers. Mr. Hunter got to my name on the attendance. Kira, he said. Oh, Mr. Hunter, sir, it's, um, actually Kira. I corrected in a chirp. All heck broke loose. This absolute butthole of a geezer lowered the attendance board and started shouting at little tiny me, telling me that because he was the adult and I was the child, he knew better than I. Obviously my parents pronounced my name wrong, and obviously I was too thick to realize it. He told he it was rude to have corrected him. And for the rest of the day he called me by the wrong name. So yeah, frick that guy. Real life key and peel lol. I was a junior in high school and was in a calculus class. The teacher was a horrible woman. She threw a desk at a girl. She openly drank alcohol. The first 15 minutes of class each day was a smoke break. Also she would assign students to teach lessons so she could sleep in the closet. We tried to report her to the administration but the accusations were too ridiculous and they couldn't believe they were true. High school shuffled teachers around and ended up with a surplus of science teachers and a lack of literature teachers. This lady might as well had never read a book in her life. She had heavy reading comprehension issues when teaching the classics. Fort Don Quixote was a real historical figure and had a weird fixation on the musical cats. I bet writing this brings back memories. In second grade, my class was reading Treasure Island. I freaking fell in love with that crap. And pirates, in general. I've got books and books about pirates now. Anyways, I loved the book so much that I... Brace yourselves. Here, read ahead of the class. That's right. I committed the awful crime of wanting to find out what happens next. My teacher found out like two weeks into the book when she caught me reading during lunch and I was like half the book ahead of the class. She proceeded to throw a giant hissy fit, said I was cheating, and called my mom and for a parent teacher conference. This was not my first parent teacher conference with this teacher. I wasn't a bad kid. I didn't get into any fights, but I did love to climb things and find quiet places to be alone. So I climbed onto the roof via a drain pipe, or I climbed on top of one of those old fashioned portable classrooms. Several times, I was fine, but kept getting in trouble because the school kept thinking I was gonna fall and die, in their defense. Looking back on it, I can understand why. Back to the point, my mom comes into the conference upset and scared and already telling me often to stop climbing, and I told her that I didn't do anything. My teacher explained what I did wrong, and my mom was confused at first, then angry. You called me out of work because my son wants to read a book. Good, my mom got upset for a few minutes, then just laughed it off. She basically told the teacher where to stuff it, then took me to Burger King. Frick you, Mrs. Hamilton. All I wanted was to read about Kickers Pirates. 
I had a business law professor when I was an undergraduate that was so boring and bad. Practically no one could endure an entire class. He actually said he would give an A to any student who attended 6 full classes. It was the last class, and I had only attended 5 other sessions. At break time I went to the student union and shot pool for half an hour, and then wandered back. I was the only one that came back. He actually said, oh, I thought tonight was the night no one would come back. I felt bad for him. He was a lawyer, and was probably 70 years old, and he was teaching because he was broke. My 8th grade Spanish teacher. We had a test for a novel that was pretty difficult because the teacher freaking lied to us about a certain question in the exam. Then, when people confronted her about it she just changed the subject and blamed the students. Like WTF are we supposed to do? That which had the nerve to try and prove us wrong. Anyways I ended up scoring her class medal so it could have been worse. <laughs> Professor was either 20 minutes late to class every day or did not show. Never acknowledged the tardies or absences. Made everyone do a group project and on the last day decided to show up a half hour late and make showing the projects optional. Then as other students didn't get to present due to time. He said he would just give everyone an A or B. Then he left before class ended. I worked hard on that project. I was studying architecture a few years ago. I was taking a class which was in charge of this renowned, elderly teacher architect. So we were having a debate of form versus function. And I made a point the teacher didn't agree with. Most of my class agreed with me and a few classmates made similar points. Right after class. The teacher pulled me aside and told me he didn't enjoy being embarrassed in front of his students, especially by a woman, and then said I wasn't welcomed to his classroom anymore. I ended up failing the subject and had to take it again with a different teacher the following semester. What an absolute swipe. <laughs> Math teacher who was so catty, so unorganized, so unprepared despite having worked as a professor for over a decade. And so inconsistent and not helpful that when it came time to send in our reviews, we all wrote that she was terrible and gave her ones and twos. I was so stressed from worrying about failing and losing my financial aid that I got ulcers from it. You mean unorganized and, and unprepared because she worked a decade as a professor. HS honors biology teacher. Called several students the white devil. Told them she would crucify them. My older brother took her class and when I got to that grade I took regular biology just to avoid her. She had been teaching for 30 years by the time I was old enough for her class and she retired the year after I avoided her. Her leadership just didn't want to deal with her brand of crazy when she was that close to retirement. Had a math teacher who would teach a complicated principle super fast. Tran and ask did everyone get that? Everyone is like um. No. So she's like oh well. Moving on. Then she'd hand out the test, and she'd be like, oh you guys will probably fail this. Then we would all fail, and she'd be like idk why you all failed I taught this perfectly well. You should have passed. How thick can you be? My last year of secondary high school, my normal French teacher was on maternity leave, replaced by a woman who spent most lessons on tangents about her life, openly admitted to not liking the school and the students to us far too often, gave someone full marks on an essay despite knowing full well, by her admission, that it was plagiarized, but worst of all was just her total apathy and decision to force her way out 3 months before her contract and it put so much strain on our head of languages. A man who is without doubt my personal hero. She came in constantly judging. Not ready for a school that wasn't one of the most high class privates in the country and basically ruined my hero teacher's year. Frick her. RIP my inbox. Since 100 plus people have posted their stories, I'll post mine. Ever had a teacher that hated their job with their entire being? Well, that would describe Mrs. S quite well. She was a college professor during the summer, and a middle school geography teacher for the other three seasons. I had her in middle school. Our first day of school, she handed out a 10 page syllabus of just rules. This ranged from basic stuff such as don't cuss and turn in your stuff on time, to weird stuff like don't talk without her permission. She took that silence rule very seriously. She hated any noise. She would rarely talk, never gave any sort of lessons in front of the class. We would walk in, and there would be a tray with our work for the day, and then we would have to take our textbooks out of our bag, 
no class set, her choice to promote student accountability, and just sit at our desks and fill in everything on the scantron that came with it. We did this until administration came into the room, then all of a sudden, she was just up in front of the class, being fun and interesting, showing us songs to help remember countries. One time she slapped a kid in the face because he was asking another student for help, and she heard him talk, any sort of noise was banned. Holy crap, she sounds like the monster from a quiet place. My fourth grade teacher was pretty trashy and would sit at her desk, planning her wedding or watching reality TV on her desktop computer, before smartphones were widely used, while we did endless multiple choice worksheets. She ridiculed students who came to her for help and asked them if they were stupid in front of the class, so of course everyone faked and guessed their way through the school year. I hid books on my lap and read them instead of doing math, got through the entire LOTR trilogy, and got to 6th grade without actually understanding long division, decimals, or percents. My 9th grade math teacher, who told girls to sit on his lap while he helped us with geometry problems and would pull us down by our waists if we refused, is a close contender for second place. I was talking to one of my professors, asking for advice about my future. I asked him if I could get an internship, and he looked at me dead in the eye and said, isn't it a little too late for that? I got so self-conscious about that at the time that I just stopped looking for an internship. I was 19. So my 7th grade math teacher, she was 400 pounds and we gave her the nickname of replacing the BH lining symbol of her name with fat. For example Lawrence. Fatterance. I'm not staring her name because she could be on reddit seeing this you never know. Every time we would have her class she would yell at us one way or another. Just constantly about anything. One time she tried to get a kid a referral when he wasn't even in school and homesick. That same kid was also being bullied by every student basically. Pray for Gabe. She also referral that kid for being in a bathroom for 2 minutes claiming it was 15. Most students backed Gabe on this even though mostly everyone bullied him. Oh but this isn't the end of it. She had a daughter in the same school as us. The daughter looked like her if she was younger skinnier. Also cute. The daughter hated the living crap out of her to the point of almost stabbing her. But despite all of this meanest in her she had a husband that was in the military. She had the same answer for every question students asked. Cal 2. You should do enough homework to be able to answer that for yourself. But she also lived 2 hours away from that community college. I had some others that I felt were worth mentioning. HS math teacher threatened to fail me because I finished the assignment too fast. HS history teacher told me I was not allowed to wear my system of a down shirt because they looked satanic. 7th and 8th grade English teacher had a 7 feet tall desk that took up literally half of the classroom. While I'm not sure what they were, she would pop 5-10 pills during every class. 7th grade science teacher had a breakdown one day and sent 25 students to the principal at the same time. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.